all my cables are coming through this vent from the outside and they get into whatever device I have connected. So my internet is being fed into this gateway. So this is where my Wi-Fi signal is being sent out to whichever device needs it. When I can get a hardwired connection to a deep end device, I'm always gonna go wired. Uh, it's a lot more reliable. This port over here is for wing bits. And here is my Orange Pi device. The reason why I'm swapping out this device is because I'm actually not having as many problems with this adapter as I am with the Orange Pi. Anytime I've had power problems, it's gone offline and stayed offline. And it takes a few reboots to get me back up and running. So uh, I got to say that my Orange Pi device is not that reliable. This one over here, which is my GeoNet, this is definitely, this is bulletproof. This one stays online. If there's a power outage or any issues, it comes back online. So I'm going to be switching to the WB200, which is also made by Hifix. And that should actually take care of most of my issues. I like to have things that are set and forget. Right now, this device is not allowing me to be that way. So what is Wingbits? Wingbits is the first reward-based flight tracking network. This is a global community of individuals like you or myself. And what you can do is an install an antenna. And what these antennas do is they help track flights in real time and report that data back into the network. For that contribution, you're gonna be rewarded in the form of a token. Now the token is gonna be called Wings. That token has not been released yet. The token has zero value. The token generation event has not happened yet. So it's still very early in this project if you'd like to get into things early. If you wanna get your antenna out there and claim one of the hexes available, you definitely have some time. So I'm one of the early adopters of this project. And from the point where it first started, individuals would grab one of these specialized antennas, have it installed outside, and then they would use some sort of hardware. In my case, it was an Orange Pi device. You would have to configure it, get it set up and then have it connected to the network. Now what they've released is they've released some specialized hardware that's already pre-configured and it's plug and play. I'm a geek and I actually enjoy that part, configuring hardware and getting it set up. But for them to grow, this is actually gonna be the right path. Wingbits has also received a strategic round of funding of $5.6 million. This is a huge jumpstart for the team and the community. For the team, they can now deploy purpose-built hardware like the WB200 and they're not fiddling around troubleshooting DIY devices. This also creates a revenue stream for the project and now they can also commit more resources to growth. For the end user like myself, I can take this purpose-built hardware. All I have to do is mount it, plug it in, and connect it to the network, and that's it. Oh, and did I mention they went to space? And lift off. Go, Falcon. Go, Falcon. No deep in project has ever gone to space. That would be a first. With a launch from SpaceX, Wingbits and Spire Global deployed a satellite into orbit. This is the very first deep end validator for flight tracking data that's now in space. This satellite is gonna help cross-reference data that's being provided by the deep end ground stations, and this is going to significantly increase accuracy. Let's open up the box. This is the WB200, this is from Hifix. We have this mounting pool that we can attach. There's also screws that come with it. And here is the actual unit itself. You can see we have two auxiliary ports on it. And we have this rubber cap on it. This is the antenna and we're gonna screw it on and it goes tightly in place and that's it. All we have to now do is mount this and connect the cable for connectivity and power. I'm gonna go over into my Wi-Fi section. I'm looking for my device. It starts with WB200. This is it right over here. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna to connect to it. What you wanna do is put in the last six digits of the serial number, that's gonna be the password. The IP address of the device is gonna be 192.168.10.1. For us to log in right now, what we wanna put in is the serial number for the device, so I'm gonna paste that in there. We're at the dashboard for the WD200. We're gonna go up to the settings menu at the top and then click on network. In here, you're gonna be putting in your local Wi-Fi information. So you'll be putting in the SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi, and then the password, and then you can click on connect. We're at the Wingbits website. What you wanna do is create an account. If you haven't already done that or log in, I'll go ahead and do that. So we're at the dashboard and I'm inside the section called My Stations. You can see over here, my current one is offline. I have it unplugged. I'm gonna be registering a new one, which is this new device. We'll click on that and we're gonna follow the steps. So before you begin, you wanna make sure that you reserve your location if it's available. After reserving it, you need to buy an approved device and we're gonna click on continue. And what you wanna do is put in your station nickname and then you're gonna put in the station address where you're gonna be installing it. And now that I have my coordinates in, I can go ahead and click on continue. This looks good for me. I can go ahead and register the location. So it's now in my dashboard. And what I wanna do is click on link Hifix. So I have my Hifix device 
and I need to enter in the serial number and the device secret. The serial number is gonna be on the device itself and then the secret is also gonna be on the bottom of it. And now what we wanna do is I'm gonna unplug the device, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna plug it in, power it up, and we'll make sure it comes online. Now that everything's set up, let's check out the dashboard. I'm at the main website for Wingbits. I'm gonna just sign in. So right now it says action needed. This station needs attention to resume earning rewards. The reason why I'm getting this message right now is because this station is not in the place that I want it to be installed. I wanted to get this configured, but I'm actually gonna be moving very soon. So all the hardware that I have over here is now gonna get shifted over to the new spot. So I have to say that the installation for this device is very straightforward. It's plug and play. And once you're connected, you may never have to touch this device again. I love the idea. This is now a set it and forget it project. Aside from losing connectivity, which might mean that you lost power or maybe you lost internet service, purpose-built hardware like this will reboot and go back up on its own. If you do have any issues, you will get notified. I should actually just show you that. Right over here in the corner, you have a notification option. So if you do go offline, you can get notified within an hour. And then you can set repeat notifications for another set of time, whether you want it eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, you can set your notifications. And that notification is gonna be super helpful, especially if you're earning rewards. At the beginning of this video, I was actually talking about how much I love GeoNet. And what I wanted to mention is they actually released another device. And this device allows you to mine both projects, GeoNet and WingBits, using one antenna. Both of these antennas can actually be picked up from the channel sponsor, which is Helium Deploy. And here we are at the website. I'm just gonna go over to the hardware section. And if you scroll down a little bit over here, so here are the two antennas that you can get. You can get the one that I just installed, and that is the Wingbits WB200. The price of this one is $495. I also have a coupon code down below to save you 10%. And then you also have this one. This is the Wingbits MGW310. This is $1,095. However, this one mines two different projects. This one mines the GeoNet tokens as well as WingBits. So I actually wish that option was available last year, but it's available now. And instead of having multiple antennas like I do, and it looks like a little bit of a disaster out there, you're saving money, you're using one antenna, and you're getting paid for two different projects. So if you're interested in both of these projects, that is definitely an efficient way to deploy it. One thing that I wanted to mention is if you are going the dual mining route with GeoNet, you definitely wanna check their map first before you purchase any hardware because you wanna make sure that the hex that you live in is available and that you earn the maximum rewards. So everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. Let me know what you think about the WingBits project. I had a lot more fun with this flight tracker than I was expecting. And if you're looking for other Deepin projects, I'll put some other suggestions over here. Subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.